Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today I have a question about chicken feet. So this is chicken crumble. This is chicken pellet. And then the other day I ordered chicken crumble again from a different company and I got this and it has crumble in it and it also has corn and I'm concerned. So what the heck gives? Is the stuff with corn okay? If you make even the slightest mistake in chicken food, it can stop them from laying. And that's not good. That's not fun for anyone. I have three feeders that I use for all the chickens. I feed them up. I fill them up some weekly and some daily. This is a weekly one. And it looks like this. It's the one that has the little things. You put your head in there and it's got four of them around the bucket. I fill this bucket with their food, bring it out and fill that up. So I'll fill that up again. And then I have that feeder that I keep full. And then I have, whoa. And then I have this little tiny feeder that I keep full. And then when we had smaller chickens, I used to fill that one up and put it someplace where nobody could get them. Like I used to hide it so that they could eat when they were integrating into the flock. I have three feeders and four waterers. I like to be able to like give them fresh water a couple times every day. Sophie and I still spend a lot of time outside with the chickens each day. And we actually like taking care of them and giving them special food. We still feed them by our hand. I do not know what is happening down in the barn other than they appear to be throwing a ball at Chino. Is stall cleaning time? Arena cleaning time? What? And making something time. Gabby is, Sylvia is planning what she's gonna play next with the mares. No, I just wanna set it. She wants to set something up. Chino just came in off grass. The girls stay on grass all together about eight hours a day, which seems to be working really well for them. And our grass has been holding up. I've been watching for like a time when they're not maintaining their weight on it because it's starting to get like late in the season and there's gonna come a time when maybe there's not as much nutrition in the grass for them, but they're doing really well. As most of you guys know, the girls wore safety vests their whole lives, like when they were young. For years they wore them. Years and years they wore safety vests. So we started off with this kind of vest, and I think Sophie was the last one, like she was the first one to say no more vests. It was so bulky for her and it always pushed her off balance. She was not able to balance with all this bulk on her. After I stopped, because when I started jumping more, I realized I, it wouldn't let me bend my back. Yeah, so then we- I arched my back here when I jumped. So and then I got this one that lets you move. Cause yeah. it's like flexible. Yeah. And then why did you stop wearing that one? Because I stopped wearing vests. Why did you stop wearing vests? I don't know. Yeah, so anyway, I think that when you're doing such a dangerous sport, it's such a good thing to wear protective equipment. I only liked wearing it because I like like really, really, really tight clothing on me or really loose clothing. I like really, like really tight, tight clothing. Where I can't breathe. Yeah. Just like that. I love that too. I love that too. But I only wear loose clothes because we have nothing really tight. What do you In want? really tight clothes, they don't fit. Yeah, she has a different size. Like, if you wear tight clothes, then they aren't going to fit. Yeah, she probably need kid size for them to actually be tight. Kaylee wears kid size. I have a... I fit Kaylee's shirt. And I've worn Brooklyn's sweater, and it fits. Yeah, so... It's children's size. Let's have a children's size sweater. No, it just fits. Yeah. It's so, anyways, fine. my point is, we've gotten out of the habit of wearing vests. For so many oh, different guys, reasons, like try it on. Way done up. Try it on. I'm wearing so many layers, it won't work. Oh yeah, try take off your vest. Gabby loves vests, and I'm the same way. I love tight I clothing. Shirts, I so like. I'm wearing a thick sweater and a shirt underneath. All right. I don't think it's gonna fit. We'll right? take off the sweater and see. No. You think you grew? Gabby's been the same size for years. Yeah, my arm got stuck. Wow, something grew. <laughs> Oh, but you can loosen it on the side. It's on like literally the smallest setting. Because I liked it at the smallest setting, but yeah. that's before I had boobs. So. Yeah, so now you need to loosen it to get it to fit, but I think it would still fit. 
Do you want to try on a vest? No. Why don't you like to wear vests? Because they're uncomfortable. They are uncomfortable. Do you find that one uncomfortable? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like big and bulky. Yeah. So anyways, that is why we don't wear vests currently our trainer at the time was so super heavy into vests and she wouldn't let anybody jump without a vest and then as the kids grew and stopped falling so much sylvia hasn't fallen in probably a year and a half almost two years and no, no, and gabby me? yeah and it's so and gabby hasn't fallen in over a year until her recent fall and the fall that she had a, a year ago was not really like a fall it wasn't a bad fall her horse stopped at a jump at a show and went down to the ground and then she just slid off onto her feet so it's like a slide yeah so essentially it a slide. as the kids got better and better and progressed in their riding they stopped wearing vests i definitely think that it is worth it those are adorable gabby's old helmet is that your old you brought it home yeah well you can throw that sucker right, right in the garbage I've dropped it too many times. I've dropped mine on it. Definitely have seen them have times when they've struggled and have fallen because of the vest, because it put them off balance. And they were the right size, they're just bulky. So I think that I would like to explore options for vests. She just puts it around and around and around and around. So comment the vest that you use if you like it and you don't find it super bulky or uh, that it puts you off balance when you're riding. So this is what is for the mares to see today? Yeah. Patty can push it around and around. I love that. But it is funny how we all have idiosyncrasies. Gabby likes tight clothes and I love tight clothes. I love hot food. If my food sizzles on my tongue, it feels like amazing to me. I don't even know how that kind of stuff happens, but I have to have hot, hot, hot stuff. Like when I drink coffee, it has to burn on the way down for me to feel happy with my coffee. It's weird. But I also like tight things. I like heavy blankets. Gabby, do you like hot food? Food. Yeah, but it takes the flavor out of it. When it's hot, you can't taste anything. Yeah, it's I. Pay to push off after she pushes that one off. Do you like no, what's your idiosyncrasy? You see what it... <laughs> Clumsiness, mine. <laughs> no, you want to see what will happen if they push it? Oh wait, it didn't fall over the side of it. <laughs> yeah. High five, sister, I'm showing her. No. That was per penny to push off after, but I'm hoping it'll land on the thing. Well, anyway, even if it only lasts five minutes, it's fun for them to have something new to play um, with. But if Penny is done with the ball, she will push that and then the tire. Okay, what are your idiosyncrasies? Like, your dad has to have lukewarm water. I have to have ice cold water. If it's not ice cold, I don't like it. I love ice cold, but now my teeth are sensitive. Cold. Yeah, she's been to the dentist recently and now her teeth are sensitive to the cold. No, I can't choke. So, do you like your food hot? Yeah. Do you like tight, tight clothes or loose clothes? Loose clothes. Loose clothes? That's why I like wearing loose clothes. I like tight clothes or loose clothes. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> Comment below. What are your idiosyncrasies? I have to have freezing cold water and I have to have boiling hot, hot drink. Food that sizzles on my tongue. And I have to be comfortable. I cannot wear something unless I'm company. Yeah, I know, it burns. But for some reason, I love that sensation. Like, I love it. Like, it's just weird how we're all individual and we're all different. And I think that is what is the spice of life. Colder outside, the heat wave has ended. It's cold, even I'm gonna get a sweater today. Gabby's style finally is in style because it's cold and she can be comfortable. But you better believe that the minute Winter shows up, she'll be wearing shorts. <laughs> That's what she does, right? Fashion over brains, right Chino Bambino, right? We got Mr. Chancy Pants, that's his bum. I literally feel so lost, I also need a coat. I feel lost, like Chino's not here, just Chance is here, like I don't know, I feel torn. I feel torn, like I, I don't know, I don't know you guys, like you ever feel that? I just feel lost. And the interesting news though, the insurance company finally called Sam today. It's been two months that his truck has been in the shop. And they called him today and he said like it's been there for two months. He's called at least three times to inquire about it. And they basically said today that it got, somebody put it in the wrong file. And so it was supposed to be sent to a supervisor and it never was, so it got lost. And so now he finally has news about his truck. Essentially, 
they uh, want to write it off and he doesn't want it written off he has actually put so much money so much effort into that truck like he has so many extras in that truck and when they write it off they're never going to give him as much money as he's put into it like it has so many extra features that truck so for them to write it off is going to make him not not ha it's going to make him have a truck without all those features in the end so he doesn't want to write it off i don't know what they're going to do i still don't know what's happening but at least they have like they're discussing it they're figuring it out and other news gabby is going to finish get to show this year she has a couple more shows and um, that she's going to get to show i'll share more information as they come up wow yeah it, the horses are shedding there's, there's more. uh it's starting to get dark sooner goodness he's literally the cutest horse i love him oh he's like so super playful today. He's like, you better have brought me a treat. Yeah. He like, he's so, he is so sweet. I love this horse. I wish I could ride him. Obviously. You would not want to No, I, obviously not prepared to ride him, but I love his personality. Like, you he's would just not amazing. Want to ride him. But yeah, oh, their winter coat is coming in. It's insane. He's, he's, he's Hi. He's just so snuggly. They're just so snuggly. So the last time Sophie rode, the day that Gabby fell, I, it was the very first time we ever got to use the saddle pad. And I don't think we had it on right. And people were telling me that I had it on, that we like couldn't, we couldn't figure it out. And so people were saying, no, that's wrong. And essentially, this is what it looks like, if that makes sense. So this is supposed to go actually over the wither. And then this is like... This part, like to me, the wither is up here. This is the wither relief part, but it's like back on his back. That's the part I don't understand. I think that part's supposed to go like at the top of his wither. Yeah. Uh, it's supposed to like go at the... So maybe that's what it is. Maybe that leather part is wither relief and this empty section here is for nothing. I don't understand it. I think we got it on right today. The only thing I don't know about is if it's uh, the right amount of pressure. We're going to take some of the padding out because we think there's too much padding in the front. If I took my drink, you'll be psycho. Yeah, don't drink that. <laughs> yeah, don't drink that, please. <laughs> don't drink it. He's like so, so relaxed. He's such a personable horse. He's yeah, such a nice horse. And look, his fur. Oh, you guys can't it's see so it. It's so shiny. It's so shiny, but it's also turning like s copper. He gets a lot of oil and a lot of like... <gasps> really good stuff and you can really see it coming through in his skin like in the camera it just looks black and it just looks it doesn't just let's see if I can get it so you guys can see and you still can't really see but it's like almost a coppery color now he just loves this he's like oh yes rub my neck Laura like it literally looks like a penny when I do that let's see He's, he's just a giant penny. He's just a giant teddy bear, aren't you? She said her, her stirrup's too long. So anyways, Gabby's going to ride Chansey Pants today, and she's going to ride him a few times, get him into shape, and Brandon's also going to be riding him, getting getting him into shape. Her leg flaps are weird. They sit forward. Her leg flaps are weird? They're longer, and they sit... Oh, yeah, they're totally different. Yeah. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way